When this plane touches down at the Hazen Airport on this March day, the snow was greeted with smiles. If you've ever been to Mongolia, it's very, very similar. Um, the, the climate's the same, the, the minerals are the same. This delegation from Mongolia is on their way to visit the Great Plains and Fuels plant. A.J. Reberg of Gage International helped set up the tour. We're an international consulting firm. Uh, we've been involved in developing projects in Mongolia for uh, about eight years now. Mongolia is number 10 in the world for lignite coal reserves. So when top Mongolian political leaders heard about how the Sinfuels plant converts coal to natural gas, they wanted to see how. I didn't expect it's huge plant. So it's huge, more than I expected, and produces and uh, even gas price, such as today, very low. The company plant is working. Very interesting. Z. Inkbold is the chairman of parliament in Mongolia, leader of the Democratic Party there, the majority. Um, how is your coal being used now? Uh, export to China. Inkbold and company got to visit with Basin Electric CEO Andrew M. Seri and Sinfuels plant manager Dave Sauer. Mongolia is 100% dependent on foreign oil. It's Russia. We want uh, gas and uh, liquid petroleum out of coal. So we want same plant okay. to build <laughs> in the coming years. Okay. And they're looking for um, increasing uh, amounts of energy consumption. They're going to need increased amounts of energy uh, production. And not only the, the Dakota Gas, but also the um, Antelope Valley facility that is, that is an electrical generating facility. And, and the shared synergies that having uh, both uh, facilities on the same site um, and in close proximity to, to the coal mine um, really increases the efficiencies of these operations. Inkbold is interested in the carbon dioxide sequestration, too. We have severe uh, pollution problem in our capital city. We want to change coal to gas. That's uh, not, uh, it's already health question, not the money question anymore. Okay, so you're looking from an environmental standpoint. Clean, clean energy. In addition to the government officials, reporters for Mongolia National Broadcasting and Bloomberg TV were on the visit. To top off the trip, the group got a quick tour of a drag line. With producer Greg Wheeler, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.